Did you know that there's a difference between willing and wanting? Willingness is when you apply action to your want. Let me explain. I want to talk to you about wanting versus willing. This is going to be a very brief video, but I just wanted to kind of talk about this, like wanting versus willing. And I, this kind of came about through a conversation that I had with somebody. And I realized that a lot of times there's things that we want, like we we want something, but we're not willing to get it. And what I mean by that is um, it's like you want something, but there's no real intentionality behind it. But when you're willing to obtain something, that's when your circumstances changes. That's when things start to change. And I, I know that sounds kind of abstract, but let me explain. I, I think we could all could, we could all relate. Um, we've all had that instance where you're maybe like sitting on the couch or you're in your bedroom or whatever, and you're thinking, man, I, I, I really want something from the kitchen. Like I, I want, whether it's a snack or a water, whatever it is. And you're thinking, man, I really want something. And you say to yourself, you might even say the actual words, but I'm not willing to go get it. Like if somebody brought it to me, like, great, but I just, like, I want it, but I'm not willing to get up off this couch and walk to the kitchen or wherever you're at. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like a lot of us can relate or have said something or felt something like that at some point. Uh, on a larger scale, you it might be uh, for some people, you know, man, I, I really want to get better at drawing and painting. I just, I work a lot. And so I'm not willing to sacrifice my nights or weekends to try to work on that. You know what? Like, I, I don't want to do that. Or it might be, I want to launch my own business, but I'm not, you know, somebody told me all like the little details and things that you have to kind of do um, before you even launch it. And I just don't know if I'm willing to do all that reading or to do all that research. I'm just... And so again, I, I'm using these examples just to, to kind of explain the difference between wanting and willing. And when you have just a, a, a simple want um, with no action behind it, I think that that's when it, it's really just a dream. And listen, I'm not against having dreams. I'm all for like, man, having a dream, uh, especially if it's something that I believe is in alignment with, you know, with the word of God. Um, and so I'm all for that. But the thing is, is that when you have a dream and you have no um no action behind it. It never, it never becomes a reality. Like, so a dream with no action attached to it never becomes a reality. And when you do that, it just stays a dream. It stays as like, what could have been like that, that thing where you're like, man, I wonder if I would have actually tried that, what would have happened? And so I think all of this, just to, to kind of bring it back, I think all of this ties into the idea of wanting versus willing. Are you willing to do it? You know, I ask people that all the time. I I get like younger um, artists ask me like, hey, man, I, I they'll say like, man, I want to get better at this or I want to, I want to improve or I want to grow. Like I want to get, I, but I need to get good fast. Like I need to get good within a few months. And you give them advice, like you tell them, like, these are the things that you have to do. And they're all pumped and excited. But I think something that happens, and I, I'm saying this because I'm speaking about myself too, like from years ago, especially early in my career, you get all pumped. But then when you go back home, uh, that willingness kind of starts to die out. And you're just like, and then you start to see like what it takes to do it what it takes to get better at drawing and painting, what it takes to launch that business, um, what it takes to get better at singing, writing, whatever it is that you do. Um, and then you start to think, man, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'll start next week, you know, or again, I just don't know if I'm willing to do that. Um, and so I want to encourage you today to try to pray about that and to try to get into um a spirit of willingness to get into the mindset of I'm willing to do this. I am willing to do whatever it takes. I'm willing to do uh, whatever it takes to accomplish this, whatever it takes to draw closer to God, whatever it takes to launch this business, whatever it takes to get better at art. That is the mindset that you kind of want to get into. It reminds me of um, a Psalm uh, fifty-one, twelve, where it says that David, King David, asked God to give him a, a willing spirit. I believe that's that's what it says. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but I just want to encourage you today, again, no matter what the circumstance, whether it's difficult, I, I know that we all have challenges and, and things that get in the way, um, like 
comfortable in the couch and not wanting to go to the kitchen to get uh, whatever that is. But um, it's really just a mindset. And the cool thing about a mindset is that once you do it today and tomorrow and the day after, it really starts to just get, it doesn't, I don't want to say it gets easier, but it just starts to kind of, um, you start to develop like a routine. It starts to feel more tangible. And the more consistent that you are with it, the closer that that starts to feel, uh, 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 to feel like you're, you're actually, it's within reach. And so I want to encourage you today again, have a spirit of willingness, not just wants and desires. Desires are good. Dreams are good. Again, I'm for that. But eventually that want has to turn into a willingness. Uh, because again, as I mentioned earlier, willingness is the idea. Uh, willingness is just having a want and applying action to that. And so I want to encourage you to do that today. I hope that this video blessed you and keep the fire alive, my friends. Mm-hmm.